Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Alright, Sir Pepperoni the 16th. You shall begin. Should we just maybe we should track total deaths for the for the run this time. So I'd call I'd say it's officially begun. I probably don't plan to do any more gold farming unless something really bad happens. First eight ball deal twenty five hundo. Yeah, the eight ball does does some work, let me tell you. Every point of resolve below 100% deals an additional 1% weapon bonus weapon damage. Meh. Ambrosia is kind of eh. Let's do magic damage. Mana pool. Did I ever try out BPM? I haven't. It's been in my radar for a long time, though. It looks nice. Maybe it's a Sunday thing. Sunday? Wow. Everyone thought I said Sunday. I said uh, some day, though. But it's okay, chat. You're allowed to be wrong, I guess. We can get, watch this. Watch the damage number on this. Oh, I missed. Hold on, watch the damage number on this. All right, hold on, watch the damage number on that. 54.49. Baby, baby, baby. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna need to practice with the eight ball. All right, so I gotta spam our ball here. I gotta make better use of the Y, because I have not. I used it because I got scared. Four K. Okay. Okay. There we go. Big damage, big damage, big donkey dick damage. Okay, that's good. That's good. What are you doing? Got scared? I think I'm okay. No hit, baby. Easiest fight of my life. <laughs> Astromancer? More like Easy Mancer. <laughs> Should have done a bet for a no hit. I'm telling you, that 8 ball D. That 8 ball damage. Let me tell you. So, in health class, in high school, they had anonymous questions that you could submit to health class so that the teacher would answer them. And one of the anonymous questions, probably a troll, if I were to guess, but also maybe not, I don't know. Hard to say. House rules enabled? No, no house rules. Zero house rules. Um, Probably a troll if I were to guess. But they asked, if the girl's on top, can she still get pregnant? I mean, at least they asked. You know what I mean? I don't think even like using your basic common knowledge, would it ever make sense? How strong does he think gravity is? Must think he's on fucking Pluto. Well, not Pluto. What's a big planet? Saturn? That one. But gravity, Dan? I know, but gravity. How do you explain that? How do magnets work? We, no one really knows. Jupiter? Okay, that one, then. That's a fairy chest. I don't really care. Only have sex at night while the sperm's asleep? <laughs> Watching a TikTok where Dan's teaching me about eight naked singles? Yeah, you two could uh, be learning about naked singles right now via my TikTok chat. Think about it. And he couldn't click faster.
All right, you're dead. Looks like the other ad's dead. No hit. Number two coming in. Get rid of that. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, not no hit. Double bonage. That's fine. Okay, there we go. I actually don't really want to hurt the other one because we're already going to get a bunch of ads as it is. Start throwing out the fireballs. We have plenty of mana, basically. Okay. All the ads are gone. This is a very good attempt. Okay. Take it easy. No need to rush. Boners. Bonage. Bone sauce. Oh, uh, I don't know how that didn't hit me, but okay. Oh, uh, I know how that hit me. I don't know why I'm running away. Okay. Whoa. Last big guy. I think the spell switch was probably correct. It's a little hard to tell, for sure. I didn't even use the talent a single time. All right, it's gonna be more though. Soldiers got delayed. I don't know if I was gonna necessarily play that at launch. It looks kind of like fun. It's like a retro game of my style from back in the day, but I don't know. There's something like a little unpolished about it, which isn't the end of the world, but I don't know. It's one of those games like I might want to see the reviews first or something. There we go. Was bubbling a Mormon thing, or was that retconned? Bubbling? Hi, wife. First try, chat. Easy. Come on in, honey. Hi, Grimpy. Braces. Did anyone else have, like, a slight... <laughs> Maybe just me. Maybe this one was just me. But, like, I was kind of envious of the kids with braces just because, essentially, they were, like, different. When I, w when I was, like, real young. You know, I wasn't, like, 15 wishing I had braces or something. <gasps> Accidentally dashed the wrong way. Yes, you wanted them so bad. Right? It was, like, the same thing the kids that had in Hailers. Just like, wow. That's so cool. <laughs> but it wasn't really cool, honestly. Friend had cool rubber bands on hers for cool colors. You wanted them. Wife kept changing the colors on hers too. It should be fine, right? Whoop. Why would I want it? Because you're a kid. And you don't really think about, like, uh, exactly. You don't think about all of it. Ugh. You just you just kind of think like the the kids that have like something that you don't have it's like you want it you know like a built-in accessory I guess so. Uh. Oh, the UV light thing, gotcha. You know what always baffled me is when they take the cast off and they use the saw when you had like a break or something like that. Um. Oh. And it doesn't hurt for some reason. When it touches your skin, it just maybe burns a little bit, but it's on right through everything else. I don't know how I was aiming that, but I got something. Going up and to the right. Like the braces thing, it's kind of like glasses, maybe to a degree. You know, like, oh wow, glasses. Time to accessorize kind of thing. <laughs> I had braces and definitely was not a cool kid. <laughs> That's the thing, like, I don't think anyone actually, like, you weren't regarded as cool just for having braces, but there was something about...
the accessory that made it made you made me think that those kids were like special kind of something tells me when you actually had it on it didn't really feel that way that, that much i just wanted to be special right like remember when you show up to school with a geo just because you think like it makes you special or something like that the thing is like geodes are really boring is the truth and all the other kids are like, dude, why'd you bring a rock to school? It's like, because it's cool. Just me. <laughs> all right, here we go. Wow, look at that burst. Now I just need to not get hit. And those weren't even like the super crits or whatever. Ooh. For some reason I didn't see that coming. Damn it, Dan. Uh oh. Damn, that was just like really hard. I think we're dead. Probably should have just used the Y to get out of there. It doesn't get rid of them. Okay. Woo! Woo, that almost got me. Oh, that got me. Damn! Low health. Too bad. After killing Tubal. I did talk and I did the pets, but... Uh-oh. Oh, I got stuck on the stupid platform. What? Oh, I think the explosion got me. Probably should have done a better job make sure the black hole was out sooner to get back mana. Woo! No, I didn't get it. Crap. It's very bad. It's close. Watching. No. Oh, but yes, kind of also, I understand. Whoa, that was close. No, stop hitting that. Oh, it's frustrating. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Oh. Okay, I think I accidentally cast it out of that or something weird. Those are in a terrible spot. Ow. <laughs> Run through. It's hard to get the black holes going, it feels now all of a sudden. There we go. Like I'm not able to get mana back easily. All right, that's it. Ugh. Felt sloppy. Uh, very, very sloppy, I think. Reason for not using the Y constantly? I'm still just getting used to it. I just didn't really wind up needing it for, like, the Pyrofoss and stuff, but... Okay. Okay. Come on, turn around. Oops, why did I spin kick? Ooh, 
Ooh, that was close. Run! This is annoying. Oops, turn around. Please. Okay. Ooh. Jeez. Pass rolls technically ain't cheating, just saying. Yeah, play the game however you want, you know. Big fan of that kind of thing. Not everyone has, you know, 200 hours, 200, 300 hours, whatever to complete a game like 100% and stuff. Okay. I made sure I got the black hole during this phase. It's like the only one I can actually earn mana. Nice. Good mana there. Just gonna stay over on this side now. Jumpy, jumpy. No, no. Oh, I tried to tap the Y. I was a little too late on it, though. Okay, that was good, though. Did I get hit twice? Guess so. Okay, out of Manny. Come on, baby. Last one. Not quite. There it is. Spin kick to finish, baby. I didn't even have any good traits that time, right? Kind of just average, I think. Yeah, we, we, we almost no-hit the fight in a way. Boop. Where are my traits? Ivy Canopy, yeah. Never seen me angry? I've been angry at chat. I wouldn't call it very often. A couple times a month, maybe. And it usually lasts for like a couple minutes or something like that. Oh, okay, we're fine. <sighs> Ask me to play Hades, yep. Yeah. I, I, I always regret getting mad, though, I'll say. Like, I don't regret telling people that they're being an asshole, but I regret getting, like, letting it get to me, I guess, is the way I describe it, you know? But, you know, if you can control these things, then... Life would be different, right? <laughs> no, dude. Okay. Focus. Kind of just trying to conserve my mana. If I get hit again, um, I'd call that punish, though. Try to have a lot of mana going into this. Okay. Maybe.
Remember the Y, Dan. Remember the Ys. Come on. Uh oh. That was kind of spicy. There we go. Easy. Say chat eight ball for the win. <sighs> I'm surprised eight ball did uh, did that well there. That one wasn't that bad. Yuri is usually like a pain in the ass, but felt pretty good. Whew. Nama took more attempts than that. That's for sure. Believers tripled the old bulls. Yeah, Yared is usually a a big uh, wall. I didn't get mad during Metroid. I did, like, at the very end, which felt pretty bad. I hate getting mad like that. So I thought it was weird. I made, we made uh, a red pasta last night. And I put a little bit of balsamic vinegar in the tomato sauce. And she's like, why? That's weird. That's a weird thing to put in there. I am weird. No, I'm not. I feel like, you know, it's, I'll be honest. The amount I put in, I don't even know like someone could pick it out that I put it in there. So it might just mean like there was no, it didn't matter that I put it in, but I maintain it adds a nice, you know, like sour flavor to it or something. I'm weird. No, what do you, what? What is this slander? Yeah, like black vinegar or something. Yeah, it's got a twang. It's got a nice tang to it and stuff. It's good stuff. Trust me. Your fancy was saying saying changes the taste totally. It's good though, right? It definitely tastes different. Like I felt like I could tell. And then I asked her, can you taste it afterwards? She's like, I don't think so. I was like, see, so it's not that big of a deal. Otherwise, just like, uh, cause we just use like the jarred tomato sauce cause we're lazy, of course, you know? Otherwise it's just kind of like tomato and salt. Those are like the two flavors that we're getting. Hmm. Oh, that eight ball scared me. One. I have such an itch on my nose. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Whoa. There we go. Easy. Boosting it. It totally boosts it. Tomato sauce is already acidic. Oh, you do make a point. It's fine. Usually not eating tomato sauce because it already has a lot of acid. Ah. I need to feel fancier. Yeah. You must use crappy jar sauce. Yeah. Like, I, like I'm not going to make it from scratch. I mean, it's either that or I use like a can of tomatoes or something. I don't really know where else to start. I'm not going to start cutting up my own. Why add if it's not noticeable? It could be in my head then that it even does anything. I feel like I can taste it. Wife said she could not tell. Blind taste test? Yeah, I don't I don't know if I could really tell most of the time. Oh, it is from Superfluid. First try tubal, the odds are really not in our favor. 
I'd say. Do it on stream. We've done stuff like that before. It was pretty fun. I don't know. That that was kind of specific. I'm thinking we... If we were to do another taste test of some kind, it could be like cheap versus expensive, but I don't know about tomato sauce. Let's see. What else could we do? We did... Well, we did beer for like the cheap versus expensive. Yeah, we did the beer for the cheap versus expensive. What were the other... What's something else you could do? Wife would love to do frozen fries. But there's just not that many. And then, like... Yeah, yeah, frozen fries don't really make sense, huh? You do it with wine. But then that means I have to buy, like, a lot of wine. I gotta say. Liquor? Could do liquor. If I can get them in, like, nip forms... Is that taste testing on YouTube? It actually is, yeah. Prime YouTube content. Yeah, we have a couple. We did baby food also. I think we were just trying to tell the flavors. That one's on YouTube too. That one's pretty funny. Yo, that baby food tastes pretty good. You know what I mean? All right, Tubin. Hmm, I see. Okay. Oh, I should have hit the Y, baby. Will that bounce off the ceiling? It will. Okay, that's important. I have to get over there. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I gotta say, still. Spicy, though. It's very noticeable, like the vinegar and the tomato sauce. Yeah, I guess so. So wait, what would you add to tomato sauce to enhance the flavor? Welcome, Axa. It'll come on Switch eventually? It probably will, Bob. Sugar and MSG? Sugar! Truly. Rosemary, oregano, thyme. Yeah, I never have it fresh, so I never know if I bother. Paprika? In a tomato sauce? Never consider that. A little dash of soy sauce? Brown sugar, MSG? Soy sauce is great in tomato sauce? Oh, really? Now you're, you're piquing my interest here. Cream? I think I've seen people do that in videos. Marmite? I don't keep Marmite on hand. You add balsamic vinegar, red wine? That's what I was saying. I put some balsamic vinegar in there. If it's too weak, add tomato paste. I don't know if I generally had the issue, but I'm not sure. Pesto? I've never made pesto. <gasps> Two hits and I'm dead. I think I already told the story of this, but my mother-in-law gave wife and I... Oh, I'm dead. I'm pretty sure one hit will kill me. My mother-in-law gave us this mysterious powder that the packaging is in another language. And she specifically said, like, oh, you can use this instead of salt for your food, and there's no MSG in it. Like, she made it, like, such a point, or, and I'm just kind of like, oh, it's okay, or whatever. But whatever, it, it kind of got lost in translation or something like that. I was like, all right, we try it out. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. And then, so one day, we were, like, months later, months and months later, we are we're eating around the dinner table, and uh, MSG just comes up uh, as a topic of conversation. And she's like, wait a minute. You guys don't care about MSG? And we're like, yeah. And she's like, oh, that powder I gave you? Yeah, that's MSG. <laughs> totally MSG. 
Why is shipping from Amazon so slow to my post office? I don't know. I can get I can get like same day delivery to my house. I don't know what's going on with the post office. There'll be MSG in my PO box on the 16th. Woo! Apparently I already had it, but we are almost out. We put too much in a dish once. It was like a stir fry noodle we kind of made. And it was a bit intense. It's like, it's kind of like almost if you added too much like Splenda to a drink. Like if there's this weird, like kind of too much, too salty kind of flavor to it. What's the bet for 40? Did I just miss with all those? I might have. Uh, that move is a nightmare. Oh. He's trying to take it slow. Jump! Almost didn't make it. Okay, that's all gooch. Remember to stay down there. Okay, dash through. I gotta get rid of some of these stupid ads, for Christ's sakes. Holy dickens. I can't believe that spin kick did it. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Uh oh, that's gonna be bad. Get rid of all those, please. Damn. Ugh. I just barely probably had the iframes for that. Close. Please go away, ads. Please go away. No. There it is. Oh, that was with hypercoagulation. Ugh. Finally. No hit? Definitely not. I only got hit like a couple times though. Ugh, man. I don't think hypercoagulation really saved us necessarily because I'm pretty sure I only took a couple hits. How's the dick modeling going? Do I want to ask? I am so good at making dicks that could never go in a human body. I see. I understand. Oh, I didn't make a bet. I can't, we're not gonna do first try. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do Jonah to 50% by death before. Before death 40. Yes. No. Place your bets. Uh, yeah, this is going to be hard. It's just not really gonna work with uh, the eight ball, I think is the problem, really. Oh, uh, well, I was trying to just throw it over there. Damn, got bonk. Who knows, maybe it'll be wrong. I think I just wanna throw him horizontally like I am, but sometimes it just doesn't hit still, which is sad. And then I have a hard time getting back mana, like really badly. <laughs> I 
What? No way. I kicked and I spin. I spun and I kicked. I'm not even at 75% health still. On the on this guy. This might be an incredibly difficult fight. I just can't get back mana. I could be dealing damage to Comet form. I just, I don't know how much damage it really is. Maybe it's worth it though at this rate, given how bad this is. Couldn't really tell. Please go away. One. Give me back my mana. Oh crap, I point blanked it. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Maybe spin kicking is the way. Close. Pizza. Okay. No. Should be fine. No mana. Spoons. I'm still alive. Hey, wait, the bet! The bet! Oh, I couldn't even tell what was happening there. <laughs> Definitely didn't think we'd get it this try. Stay down here, maybe, and try to do this. No! Baby, you were my fire. Oh, this is bad. I get scared. Maybe still, but also maybe. Longest fight in history. Oh crap, I couldn't tell what move it was. I was busy bonking on the pies. Uh oh. Don't get hit by that. Remove it's the arrows, that's fine. Less fine. Square and true eight ball. 
Wow! Two and one, baby! Jesus. <laughs> no hit? Oh, no, it wasn't a no hit. I just managed to beat Jonah right after Tubal, that's all. <laughs> Definitely not a no hit. Ugh. I, pr I took a decent amount of hits there. If it wasn't for Hypercoag, we probably wouldn't be in the same shape. Ooh. It was tough, though. Now I die in the next hit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm shocked that 8-ball, because 8-ball, like I was saying the whole time, we're going to have to switch that, we're going to have to switch that. Here comes uh, the rat jams. Brother, betrayer. What the? I forget what this move. I forget, I forget. Kind of forgot what happened. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Great song, though, huh? <laughs> God is in fact a velociraptor. So I had on my television recently as sort of like a background noise. Ooh, ooh. Uh, this um, amazing film I found on, I think it was Prime Video, called Velosa Pastor. Yo, Velosa pa yeah! Did forget it. did you watch this movie? It's about a priest? Who apparently goes to China, but the China looks an awful lot like the backyard of my cousin Fred's house or something like that. Uh, and he gets stabbed by a dragon tooth or something, and lo and behold, he basically turns into a were-raptor, where randomly, or when he gets mad or something, he'll turn into a dinosaur and reap vengeance upon his foes. But he's torn, because he also fell in love with a prostitute at the same time. Uh, and so his faith is coming into question, to say the least. Yo, that girl is fine, though, you know? It's a terrible movie. It doesn't really take itself seriously. Which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the situation. You might say, like, why would you want it to take it seriously, Dan? But the best bad movies are the ones that think that they're not bad. You know what I mean? Those are the best ones. Uh oh. I guess I had an extra jump. Uh -oh. ah, ba -ba -ba -ba. I got scared. Damn, didn't make it. Okay, a few too many balls getting thrown out there. Got kind of scared there. Jump! Please go away. Come on, baby. Get it in. Fudge. I got scared. Yeah, that move can be bullshit.
<laughs> Boom. There it is. Oh, man. Whew. Hypercoagulation compared, uh, paired with Bookish was absolutely insane, to be honest. Bookish probably carried harder than uh, Hypercoag. I don't know how many hits I took. There it is. Astromancer done. New game plus 10 done. Whew. Now we get to rewind a little bit. The Immortal King is defeated. That wasn't that crazy. Yeah, sub 50 doesn't seem that bad for deaths, honestly. Man, I blew out those glass stained windows. It's too bad, you know? I keep looking at this movie on Prime Video too. And I just love the look of the thumbnail or art cover or whatever that you might want to call it. And it's called Llamageddon. And there's just a picture of a llama with those scary red eyes. And the description is just about some bullshit about the la a llama and the end of the, <laughs> the end of the world. I'm like, I'm gonna have to watch this. Like, I can't not watch it at some point in my life. 